jump to any conclusions. Fox 26's Randy Wallace continues our team coverage tonight. He spoke to a family friend of the Tuttles, and he's joining us live from Houston Police Department headquarters. Randy. Jonathan, after the historic police battle, we pretty much heard the same thing about Regina and Dennis Tuttle, that they were not drug dealers. Today's news about an officer allegedly lying about a confidential informant buying black tar heroin from the couple has some of those folks saying, we told you so. Story where they knocked down the door and... Tabitha Herman from Columbus, Ohio, was indelibly touched by the murders of Regina Nicholas Tuttle and Dennis Tuttle. Herman says Regina was like a mother to her. Here's her reaction to HPD's bombshell. I knew for a fact that officer lied. I knew from the minute they said black tar heroin that there was no way. I, first of all, would like any of the officers whose names were originally on the forms that said that there was a confidential informant that did all of this, fired. They lied, they did not deserve to have their cops anymore. Herman questions why the cops didn't have body cameras on. That's something police chief Art Acevedo says could be changing. Uh, if we make the decision, then there's a high probability that we will move towards for our entry teams, uh, putting body more cameras on. There's a high probability that we're going to move to that uh, sooner rather than later. The chief says other cases worked on by the officer accused of lying will be re-examined. He's also promising an extensive look into the actual use of force between the exchange of gunfire between the police and the totals. Acevedo is also questioning the department's use of no-knock raids. After I had four officers shot and two suspects killed, that uh, we're, we'll be tightening that up pretty pretty well. If it's that dangerous, we probably need to use a much higher, uh, a different type of team to go in. So uh, that's all part of the review. I'll have more from friends and neighbors of Regina and Dennis Tuttle on tonight's News Edge at 10. Reporting live from police headquarters downtown, Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner responding to today's development, saying he supports the thorough investigation that he asks to be done as swiftly as possible, but then adds, quote, I will refrain from commenting about this until I have all facts before me. And Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg is also weighing in tonight, saying, quote, Civil Rights Division prosecutors are working with Houston police investigating this entire matter. After a thorough review, prosecutors will present the case to a grand jury to determine if criminal charges are warranted. Now, Police Chief Art 